Hi, in this video we'll learn how to solve for Hickson demand function when the individual treats x and y as perfect substitutes. So consider for example utility function is x plus y and the expenditure minimization problem of the consumer is minimize with respect to x and y pxx plus pyy subject to the constraint that utility is at least mu. When we are going to plot the constraint, this is how it's going to look. So this is our constraint. We want to pick a point in this region that minimizes pxx plus pyy. That's our expenditure. So given that the slope of the indifference curve is 1, we are going to divide this problem into three cases. Case 1 is px by py less than 1. Case 2 is px by py equal to 1. Case 3 is px by py greater than 1. So let's do this problem. Okay, so now let's look at these three different cases. Case 1 is px by py less than 1. So when px by py is less than 1, if you're going to plot the ISO expenditure curves, they'll be flatter than the indifference curve. So clearly the optimal point can be obtained by figuring out which one is the lowest possible ISO expenditure curve that passes through this region. So let's plot it. So this graph tells us that the individual will consume mu units of x and zero units of y. So the solution is the Hicks in demand for x in this case is mu units of x and the Hicks in demand for y is zero units of y. Let's do the next case now, which is uh, when px by py is equal to one. So when px by py is equal to 1, if you want to plot the ISO expenditure curve, they'll have the same slope as this indifference curve. So the lowest possible ISO expenditure curve will actually coincide with this indifference curve x plus y equal to mu. So that would mean that anything on this line is a solution. Okay. So let me plot the ISO expenditure curve first. So now let us write the x in demand. x in demand will be any xh yh such that xh plus yh is equal to mu. So this is uh, your set of all Hicks in demands when px by py equal to 1. Okay, now in case 3 when px by py is greater than 1, just check that the solution will be uh, 0 units of x and mu units of y. Okay. So we have learned in this video how to solve for Hickson demand when the utility function is x plus y. Thank you.